Okay, so Leonard, correct me if I'm wrong, but your first film was a Hitchcock film. It was, a picture called Topaz. I got a call from who then was the department head of, uh, of, of Universal, and he said, uh, um, are you free to do a, a picture with Alfred Hitchcock in Europe? That night, or probably the next night, I was on a plane and I was reading a story treatment. They didn't even have a script. So I was flying to Copenhagen. We were going to go to Copenhagen, Wiesbaden, Germany, Paris, New York, and then back to Los Angeles, where they would finish the script. They would shut down for a couple of weeks and finish the script. So um, I get there. You know, I fly all night. They pick me up from the airport. They say, uh, Mr. Hitchcock wants to see you right away. So I go into his suite, and he comes up to me, and he says, now, on this picture, <laughs> we will have no makeup. And I'm thinking, what the hell did I just fly all night for where there's no makeup? Right. But what he meant was, we're going to see no makeup. Amazing. Yeah. Now, what about you? You've started off. You, you, uh, tell, tell me first about your coming to cinema makeup school and how that came about. I had a break in college at the time. It was winter break, and I decided to drive myself to L.A. and visit every single makeup school that I was interested in, um, cinema being the number one because cinema had an amazing website with student uh, competitions on it. I had um, a meeting with you and with Lee at the time, and it was both of your honesty, quite frankly. Um, this isn't an easy industry, but it's doable. Um, why, why do you want to be a makeup artist? Then I came here and realized character was a thing. And that's where my love for makeup really just became an obsession. Mm -hmm. um, because I always loved science. So to me, character was a beautiful dance between science and fashion and vision. The day that I graduated, you guys asked me if I wanted to be an intern at Cinema Makeup School. I definitely got lucky when it came to that and how people treated me. Yeah, I remember you as a student, uh, and you were always up at the top, up at the top, always trying to make it better and better. I always said, um, do every job that you can get, mm -hmm. whether you're getting paid, whether you're not getting paid, whether you're getting a little bit, whatever it may be. Take the job because it's going to be experience in makeup, it's going to be experience on the set. Well, cut to cut to a couple of years later and I'm sitting in the uh, in the um, in the theater and I'm watching and I'm voting for the uh, Student Academy Awards and I see a credit this uh, Jennifer Quintero makeup I thought I wonder if <laughs> Jennifer Quintero is JQ because I'd always called you JQ right and the director was there and I went up to the director and I said by any chance, is Jennifer Quintero JQ? And she says, oh yeah, we love JQ. We'd rather use JQ all the time. And I thought, how fabulous. <laughs>